So, Al, what do we have here? Well, we have a beautiful Christmas ornament. Purchased by my son, Isaac, from no other than 99p shop. But, Al, did it cost 99 pence? I've no idea, but I have a terrible inkling you're going to inform me. No, it cost the bargain price of 50 pence. 50 pence? 50 English pence. 50 of your good, solid English pence. You may be forgiven for thinking that this beautiful ornament here is just a decapitated snowman. But, oh no, you couldn't be more wrong. Well, let's take a closer look at this beautiful piece of objet d'art. Well, we'll start at the front. Here you can quite clearly see it is a snowman. But the snowman is no ordinary snowman. He's had a little bit of a coke habit. As you can see here, he has a small hole in his nose. Do you think that's because of a dirty habit? I think it's a, d a dreadful obsession with the youth of today and Pokemon. He also is a transvestite. As you can see, he didn't quite remove his lipstick from last night's party. Little trace there, little trace of red lipstick, yes? Certainly, I think it's very indicative of snowmen to cross-dress. Would you like to elaborate a little on his on his choice of headwear? Do yes, you? It, it, what makes it very, very rare is his choice of World War II Nazi helmet. Uh, instead of the traditional cross of iron mounted on the front, he's gone with rather a jaunty piece of holly. And, if we may, we will turn him round because... For the, for the great reveal. You may be forgiven for, th be, for thinking that it was just an ordinary snowman. But, oh no, take a look at the back. Are you ready? Are you prepared? Prepare he yourselves. is a solar light! Oh, crikey. But we have to look on his bottom. Do you mind if I look at your bottom? <laughs> Not at mine. Underneath, we have more revealing things. Would you care? Well, it does in fact read, this is a decorative item. Not a toy. The not a toy is followed by an exclamation mark. Not a toy! What not a toy! No! Warning. Not a toy! This it's not Hush a your toy. mouth! Hush your mouth! This style is not suitable for children under three years due to small parts which could represent a choking hazard. And what is it? It is a... A solar character light representing the spirit of Christmas. It says the spirit of Christmas. Therefore, that is fact. I have seen nothing that encapsulates the spirit of Christmas more than this. And it says it's not suitable for children under the age of three because of choking hazard. But what about the sharp-edged solar glass panel that will slice your finger ends should you feel the need? I've used it for slicing cucumbers and radish roses for hors d'oeuvres this Christmas. I was feeling a little bit emo yesterday and did some pretty patterns on my arm with it. Because that's what they do, don't you know? I tattooed some youngsters at the local Borstal with that sharp edge and a pot of quink. Lovely, lovely. Anyway, watch this. It's on! Ah! It's gone! It's on! Now it's That's not. a beautiful treat of the 21st century. By placing my hand on top of the discombobulated head... I can make it light up the room. But it lights up the room with its beautiful smile already. Oh. Is there anything else you'd like to say about this beautiful, let's, beautiful Let's test ornament? it in the dark. Oh yes, let's test it in the dark indeed. 
Three, two, one, begin the test! <gasps> does it work? It's like the Blair Witch Project! It does indeed! Behold the light! Behold the light! Yes! Look at the light! So... <gasps> Let there be light. And there was. Let there be Christmas. Yes, this is indeed the spirit of Christmas. <laughs>